Well, guys, uh, I had to get rescued. Me and old Adeline back there from, from old Mike uh, and Serenity. Hey. You, you look like uh, King Koopa right now. I'm King Koopa in the vibe. <laughs> uh, we are in the vibe right now, vibing. It's well, a vibe. It's, it, it's a whole vibe, guys. It's a whole vibe. So, me and Addy left today to go get an oil change and uh, to go get a toaster because Adeline requested a toaster last night. And she was like, in the morning, can we go get a toaster, Papa? And uh, so we did. And uh, we hung out last night, yesterday. Didn't do a whole lot. We cleaned up in the cabin and stuff like that. But we, we, we just hung out until about 1.30 oh. in the morning. Ooh, watching okay. TV and just hanging out and having some ice cream and some pizza oh. and all of that stuff. Some really good quality time with my granddaughter because we are almost out of time, guys. Today is Friday. Tomorrow is the last day here in Arkansas because we are getting up early in the morning on Sunday and heading out. I need to get everything loaded up tomorrow and uh, that way all we got to do is get in the truck and go in the morning after we brush our grills and all of that and do her hair because I ain't got no hair. Uh, I need to shave up and stuff tomorrow night before we head on out. And I actually have a special surprise for Adeline that she doesn't even know about. I'm going to make sure that we go out with the last day in Arkansas with a bang. bang. Mm. Yep. I don't know about it. Yep. I don't know about it's a surprise. It. It's a surprise. I wanna know. I'm actually surprises. I'm actually not gonna uh, be there for that, but my nephew is handling all of that and it's gonna be a cool little last adventure for him. I'm gonna be uh, making sure that we get Alright, hang on guys, we oh, gotta make we it. We gotta give us some gas. We're we're spinning. But I'll be busy getting everything ready to go. And Mike's going to take the girls on a little adventure tomorrow. And uh, give one last little thing to do before we head on out. But as you can see, I'm not in my truck. I was in my truck. We went to go get the oil changed and the toaster. Went up to the tire shop. And they kept my truck, guys. Yeah. <laughs> they kept my truck. And that's becoming a common uh, thing when me and you happen to go up there. Yeah. Let me go ahead and hold it. <laughs> yeah, let me go on and just keep that for the day. What it is is, guys, my tires that I got a couple of years ago when I first got here, y'all remember, for the people that's been around the whole time, the rocks and stuff in the driveway popped the tires because apparently stock trucks nowadays have three ply tires. Three ply on trucks. So I had to get some mutant tires and all, and I travel a lot, guys, so I put a lot of miles on it. When I moved here, my truck had 11,000 miles on it. I'm at 71,000 miles now in two and a half years. But 60,000 miles? Yeah, about 30,000 a year. So the tires are getting pretty low. And I've got a tire guy in Florida that I used for like 20 years when I had my steel company and stuff, and a buddy of mine manages it down there. So I looked at the tires and I was like, they could probably make it to Florida all right. And I was going to get uh, tires and also new rims for my truck. Cause y'all remember my truck, whenever uh, the transmission stuff happened, we found out the reason why it was popping when you turn was because when they did the leveling kit, they changed the A-arms and the offset wasn't right on the rims and it was cutting into the A-arms. Yeah. So I needed to get uh, spacers or new rims. And I don't really want to do spacers with me hauling the weight that I haul and stuff. So I was going to get new rims. Well, my buddy down there in Florida does rims, tires, all that, and would have given me a phenomenal deal. Well, my buddy's here at Magazine Tire. Um, his son has been trying to get me to buy his rims and tires for a minute now. And uh, he just put brand new tires on these rims and didn't like the way it looked on his truck with the color and everything. So he gave me a deal I could not refuse this morning. Yeah. You'd, I be, mean, you'd be crazy to refuse Yeah, that. basically rims and tires for the price that I would have bought just tires. Um, and it will fix my issue. Plus they threw in a thicker leveling kit to raise it up a little bit more. And all I got to do is pay for the, the work to put the leveling kit in, but they gave me the leveling kit. So it was a deal that I could not re refuse, honestly. Um, I wouldn't have got it done that cheap in Florida. And what that does is allow me to drive to Florida with a peace of mind also knowing that I got brand new tires on it. Because he yeah. just put these tires on 
last week and uh they still got the little the little titty things on there and all of that oh so, you know oh, that, that's how you really know there's yeah. some good tires they still got the, the nipples on them. and the cool thing the cool thing is is uh hey turn it down sweetie the cool thing is is that it's almost the exact rims and tires that i had on my f-250 and i for all of y'all that's been around a long time you know that my f-250 was my dream truck and uh, so it's really cool to be able to get this put on my my Chevy. So it's gonna look good. I think so. I know, I know just from the picture you showed me, I was like, Ooh, yeah, man. it's gonna look good. It's gonna look, and something. it's gonna fix a problem that I have. Yep. Two problems. One, I need new tires. Two, I need that A arm thing situated so I can turn sharper. So I mean, if you're gonna fix two of your problems, you might as well get a third little piece and make it look a little better too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's uh, so it all worked out, and it's actually going to save me money, pretty much. So I can't. I like saving money. How how many miles do you think we're on the bike? Uh, two hundred and twenty thousand. You guys in the comments, how many miles do you think there is on the vibe? Give you a chance to drop it in the comment section. You're off. Oh, well, while we wait though, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to this channel and Drifting Dreamers. Um, yeah, helps us out a lot. Like, share, tell a friend. Hey, you know, we actually also just got our new three baby chicks from Anthony and Roxanne over at Country Road Cure. Yep. And you know, with us being off grid, we're not able just to plug in the heat lamp to keep the chicks going, yep. you know? and big thing Anthony stressed to me was you have to make sure this heat lamp is running for the first like four to six weeks of the baby chick's life right yeah so I'm like hey man I don't really I can't just plug it in so are you sure what? that hot enough oh Ooh. it's pretty hot today. Guys. it is pretty hot but we just released a new video today on how we're keeping the baby chicks warm you guys head over to DD5 and check that one out I think you'll be pretty impressed with that and yesterday I put a video out on come on homestead that's a banger y'all need to go see it crazy man crazy I was a little sad it's a sad day. I was a little sad I ain't gonna lie but it was a really good video but you know what sometimes which is so crazy how one action can cause two different sets of emotions for two different people one action caused you to be a little sad please don't turn it back on until we're done It'll cause you to be a little sad, but it caused someone else to be extremely happy. Me, I was kind of both, sad and happy, you know. Um, to continue something that I started in Florida here and to share it with friends and all that other stuff and family is kind of cool. But at the same time, you get invested in this kind of stuff, and so there's sadness that goes along with it and stuff. So Before we get off, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, the vibe has a whopping 200 67,841 miles. And still vibing. And still vibing. It's a vibe. They actually went yesterday and gave her a little a little car wash. Yep. This is the first time that the vibe has been this clean in probably two years. Since I know they got to Arkansas. We've never cleaned it out fully inside and out since we've been to Arkansas. And Lissa, man, she, she did the dashboard with uh, with the spray and the... Uh, and the cloth and cleaned all the dashboards and on the inside all the plastics not only did i use the pressure washer hose to pressure it but i did a, a, a pressure down a high pressure soap a soapy sponge and, and cleaned it off and then rinsed it off again it, that, it, it's nice that was actually on the to-do list for me today with the truck before they decided to take my truck so uh, yeah maybe tomorrow one thing to buy maybe. don't have though is air conditioning yeah <laughs> yeah, and there ain't no AC in here. You got 460. 460. 460. All four windows down, running 60 miles per hour. Right now we're doing a uh, two six. Yeah, yeah. For, for the last three ten, six. For we the last got, ten minutes. We got three minutes. windows <laughs> down and six miles per hour. That way y'all can hear us and uh, all of that. Did y'all see the epic mountain view behind Mike when he was talking? It was. I tell you what, it makes it a little easier to look at him when you got all that beauty behind him. I know, that's right. <laughs> Uh, but definitely a big shout out to my nephew here. I literally called him out of the blue because I had no idea that this was going to happen today at all. And said, nephew, I'm stranded. Come get me. <laughs> and uh, 
He said, I'll be right there. <laughs> and so we hung out, talked to a couple of people. I also saw my uh, my motorcycle, my 82 Sportster what? up there, because they have that. I told him, I said, y'all just about got every vehicle I got. I need to bring the Jeep up there and drop it off, and then y'all <laughs> just have everything. And, hey, uh, guys. <laughs> For real? Yeah, it, it's close. That's I mean, cool. He has a Triumph, but it's an older okay. bike like that. Yeah, yeah. But y'all ain't gonna believe that the 82 Sportster now. I got the new tires on there. Crazy. I ain't even showed Mike yet. I took some pictures. Uh, yeah, but I think that's gonna be about it, guys. Uh, that way we can roll this window down beside me because I'm starting to leak over here. <laughs> it's kind of hot. And we are, as you can see, back on the driveway, the dirt road almost back to the mountain i'm going to continue uh cleaning and uh getting the cabin and the mountain situated to go out of town for a week uh i want to come back to not a mess so because yep. i'm sure i'm going to be exhausted by the time i make this cross country trip here listen i have learned that quite a quite a few times the hard way but i tell you what it only took about two three times and we learned oh, yeah. that you got to clean up before you leave because yeah. when you come back you're gonna be so tired yeah. and there's nothing like coming home to a nice organized clean house to where you can really just decompress for a day yeah. before you get back because when i get back guys we got a lot of stuff coming up a lot I have slowed down a lot this summer to make sure that I spent time with that one right there in the back seat. But when I drop her off, I'm coming back here with hammers blazing. Hey, you know what? And I would like to say I'm proud of you for doing that. Thank because you. I know I knew it was an actual effort for you to yeah. not do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know it's it's a lot easier for a lot of people to sit, but for you that's not easy. <laughs> so for you just to be able to be yeah, like yesterday, you know, me sitting there just watching TV with her, Heartland, you know, that's our little show. Just watch episode after episode, eat pizza, ice cream, just hang out all day. That's a hard thing for me to do, guys. I'm, I'm one that likes to get outside and move and groove. And, uh, but I made a commitment uh, this summer because last summer I worked so hard. And she had an amazing summer last summer, an amazing summer. But all of it was group things, you know. We was all as a group. There wasn't a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with me because the one-on-one -on -one time that I had, I had to work. Yeah. And uh, so it was very important for me this year to have that one-on-one -on -one time with my granddaughter. That growing up fast, guys, she's a foot and a half bigger than she was <laughs> last year and a lot more mature. And it really, like, cemented in my brain, like, you know, you really need to slow down and value these times that you get. Because I only get a month every year like this with her. I see her throughout the year, but I only get a month, just me and her. And uh, and next year, it's going to be me, her, and her sister, which I am really looking forward to. But So this was our last year, just me and her here. And I really wanted to make it special. And she's had a blast, and I've enjoyed having her. I'm not going to leave. And she don't want to leave. <laughs> and, and, uh... So it was worth every single bit of it, and uh, it, it it took its toll on me. Um, I'm behind on some things, and uh, financially, uh, my numbers and stuff on here and my other channel has definitely took an extreme dive or whatever. So it has hit me a little bit financially, but it was well worth it. Well worth it. I don't regret not one bit of it. I read a meme this morning that really made me made me feel good. Put a little warm spot on my heart. It said that uh. You can always make more money, but you can't always make more memories. That's right. And that's what it was about this summer for me, guys, was making memories. I mean, I had my brother and my sister-in-law up here. I had my mom up here twice. I had Addie up here for a month. It's been a good, good summer, but now it's time to get back to work. But I love every single one of you guys. And speaking of getting back to work, get out there and take a step closer to your goals, guys, and do something nice for somebody. But definitely, and I do mean definitely, keep it real. Come on.